Hey guys, so today I wanted to sit down and do a little bit of a homewares haul. I haven't done one of these in a while. Um, and as a lot of you guys will know who follow me on Instagram, we have recently renovated our entire kitchen and pantry area. Um, so I wanted to show you a few things that I got to go in the new kitchen. Obviously, like, we have kitchen stuff already, so, like, a lot of our old stuff has just gone in as well. Um, but there's been a few new things that we've picked up that we kind of thought needed updating. Um, Mike and I first moved in together, um over 10 years ago now so a lot of the stuff that we had was from when we first moved in together and a lot of it say like the glasses are chipped and the mugs are like, ch like lots have been broken so there's like mix and match kind of thing um so we did update our kind of kitchen wares a little bit pretty much everything i got um that i'm going to show you is from home sense i buy most of my home stuff from home sense um in terms of like stuff you know what i mean like t kitchenware storage like all of that a lot of it is just so brilliant at home sense and it's so much cheaper um i have worked with them in the past <laughs> full disclosure but i'm not working with them for this video i wish um and i bought everything full price i didn't get a discount didn't get a voucher i just went in and shopped like a normal person um so without further ado let's talk about kitchen stuff also um so with a bit more ado, sorry guys. <laughs> um, I a lot of the stuff that I'm referencing, I'm gonna put pictures in, so you and like cutaways, so you guys can see like what I'm talking about. But there will be a kitchen kind of before and after full renovation video coming up, either next week or the week after next. So um, there are still a few things that aren't finished. Um, we're still waiting on the table and things like that. So I didn't want to film that video until we were completely done. So um, if you're interested in that, then it, it's coming. Um, but you will see like a sneak peek in this video and there's also quite a few pictures up on my Instagram So if you're not already following me on there um, A lot of the stuff is in context in some of my Instagram pictures So um, I'm gonna start with this basket of stuff here because it's right there and it makes sense The first thing we got which was a bit of an update were new mugs um, Our mugs were really like just here there and everywhere and we had way too many and they were just um like mix and match so most of them we still kept a few um most of them were donated to charity and then i went for a set of all the same because we've gone from having our mugs in a cupboard where i don't mind them looking like a complete mess to being in a glass cabinet on display so i wanted to have them all matching initially i thought i wanted white ones but then i saw these which are le creuset um we actually got six big ones which i use for tea and then six little ones which I use for coffee they do also do these in espresso size um which I kind of wanted to get but I actually found a really amazing um vintage set from Wedgwood in Oxfam um which I put in one of my vlogmas videos if you guys saw it they're kind of like black and white um and so we didn't really need them Anyway, these were discounted probably from, I think they're normally about £15 and they were like £6.99 each. I think these ones were £5.99 and these ones were £6.99. So I was really happy when I found those, um, partly because I really like them, but also because most of our like kitchenware, like our um, serving dishes, are this gloss black Le Creuset, um, which we actually bought like 12 years ago, 11 years ago when we first moved in together from TK Maxx and HomeSense. Um, so we have a lot of this, it kind of matches our kitchenware and I'm really glad that we have that now because it looks really good in the new kitchen. Um, some of the stuff we had previously doesn't kind of go that well with the color scheme, but the like gloss black does. The next thing I bought were quite a few of these and these are the only thing in this video not from HomeSense. These are actually from a website, I think it's called pro cook anyway i wanted some nice storage canisters um for two different reasons firstly so that i can buy um package free food and have somewhere nice to store it but also secondly um obviously you can do that in a little jam jar if you want but i wanted pretty ones because they are on display in um like a again i'll put a close-up of this but it's like a an open cabinet um by our oven in our kitchen and these look so nice so they're full of this one's full of risotto rice but there's pasta nuts whatever um all of the different kind of ingredients that we have um on display and these are perfect i would say like this is the large size i think or is it the medium size we had some old ones that were even taller that were from john lewis and i can't find them anymore which is really annoying because i've got 
two of those left and they are one they're like spaghetti length basically but i can't find them on this website which is really annoying because they're such good quality as well and they've got that like vacuum pack seal to keep everything fresh and nice so i got quite a few of those i think they sell them in sets of three and i got three sets of three so nine um and then next up from home sense we got new glasses and i was so excited about this because these are actually very similar to the glasses that we have um in our kitchen already I'm really picky when it comes to water glasses. I like them really thin. I like them like this kind of shape. So they're almost like a, a stemless wine glass. I don't like them super chunky. I don't like them tall. Like I really like this shape of glass. And I managed to get, I actually got um, two boxes of these. So I got 12, pretty much all of ours. I think we were down to three of these. Um, so we were using like a couple of old Ikea ones that we had and it was like a real mi mix mash of different things um because they so many of them have been chipped and broken over the years so um i got 12 of these and they are so nice um weirdly enough one of the boxes was 9.99 and the other one was 5.99 and i talked to them about it at the till and they were like it's just because it's come in on a different run of stock so they couldn't discount it which was super annoying but um still for 16 pounds for 24 no 12 12 um i thought that was good so yeah i got those and then next up i got three of these um kind of wicker baskets these were 10 pounds each um which actually is not bad some of the baskets in home sets are super expensive you pick them up they're like 25 pounds or something like this um and i thought these were quite good in terms of them being quite an open weave as well so you can kind of see what's in but they still look neater so these I got for the pantry. Um, I don't know if you guys saw my um, picture of our pantry online um, on my Instagram where I basically have everything out. But there's a few things in the pantry that is, aren't on the shelves because it's a bit too messy to put them on the shelves. And also from a dusting point of view, they get dusty because um, there's like space in between them. So I wanted to have these um, on the shelves for storage so I can keep like all of the like coffee all of the tea whatever in each one so they're a bit more organized so i got three of those i think one of them is probably going to go in the kitchen actually but um i really liked them and i thought they were they were nice and kind of fit into that organized pantry vibe that i've got going on next up i've got two plant pots and i actually bought i'm going to insert a cutaway here actually of the plants that i bought for the kitchen because i made an order from patch plants which um I really love their stuff. They're expensive and they only deliver in London, so I had to get them delivered when I was in London and then bring them um, home with me. But they're really lovely. The one thing I would say though is that the pots aren't brilliant quality. Um, some of them are nice, some of them aren't. So anyway, I decided I need, needed a couple of plants for the pantry because the photo that I put on Instagram those are actually plants that normally live in the kitchen and I put them in there to take a photo because it looked really bare in that corner um so I wanted to get um plants for that room specifically but I didn't want to order the um pots from patch because I think they're nicer in home sense um so the first one I got is this one which is a really small kind of um nubbly effect one that was um, five pounds and then the other one this is my favorite i absolutely love this this was 12.99 and it's really nice it has three 360 and then like some dashes on it that's probably why it's in home sense i feel like that's a defect but i like it um it's from paula maison by jeff banks um yeah like half glazed half kind of rough ceramic like that a lot and now i just need to find plants to put in them and then next up I have a bag of a few different things um, that I picked up today actually. So these are new things um, that I haven't put in the room yet. First thing is a throw and I wanted a throw for the sofa because a lot of the time I will pop River on the sofa in the afternoon. Say after she's been to nursery and she's tired and she just wants to watch some cartoons and she doesn't want to like run around and play she'll sit on the sofa and have like a snack or a drink and watch some cartoons and a lot of the time I'll put a little cozy um blanket over her and I had been using just her baby blankets but I wanted something a bit nicer so we could snuggle up and like watch a movie in the afternoons or something together under it so I got this this is like a cream knitted throw and it's got um like mustard yellow tassels and I think this will look really nice on the sofas because the sofas are like a kind of kingfisher blue 
tealy colour. Um, again, I'll put a cutaway, but they, I think it will look really nice on there. So I got that, and that was actually um, £30. So it's more expensive than I thought. That actually... I swear that's not right. Maybe it was. Yeah, £30. Everything else was just really affordable. More affordable than I thought. Um, and then I also got two new hand towels, and these are for our downstairs loo which we didn't we actually didn't we started off not thinking we would need to redecorate in there but we redid the floor and therefore we had to take the toilet and the sink out so that we could retile underneath those and whilst doing that the wallpaper was damaged because the sink there'd been like water and soap going down the back of the stink stink down the back of the stink down the back of the sink and it had like basically the sink had fused to the wallpaper so when we pulled the sink off the wallpaper ripped so we had to redecorate in there, um, and we went for kind of a wild choice. Um, I don't know, I'm going to show you guys a little snippet. We went for a House of Hackney wallpaper that I've had my eye on for years. Um, and it's like, it's out there, but I like it. Anyway, so for, that's not finished yet, so the, the loo and the sink still aren't back in, so we've just got like fresh de freshly decorated walls. Um, but I wanted to get some navy hand towels to go in there. Um, nice fresh hand towels for the downstairs loo and they were five pounds each. And then, <laughs> last but not least, these are random but this is just other things that I bought today. I bought some pasta. I always get, I always get food from um, Home Sense. I always get drawn in to like the coffee and the pastas and the syrups for coffee. And I got, I got these, um, mostly for River because I thought it would encourage her to eat more food because she is not eating a huge amount at the moment. She's going through a phase of like, she tries everything and she like likes it, but she doesn't eat a lot of it. So I feel like, I thought she might quite like these. Who knows, they're probably full of absolute junk. Let's hope not. Squid ink, oh, that's not too bad. I think they're actually coloured with vegetable. Yeah, they're coloured with vegetables, that's good. Okay, they're fine. Um, I thought she would like those. And then last but not least, also for River, I saw these, she's really into colouring. It's not a home, it's not a home haul anymore, is it guys? Um, I got her double-ended colouring pencils because if there's one thing that she's talented at, my daughter, it's losing crayons. So she had like, I think a pack of like 24 crayons last summer that she got bought and she has about three left. I don't know where they go. Maybe the dogs eat them. Who knows? It's like hairbands. Where do they go? Where? Um, but I thought she'd like these because they're, you know, two for one. Yeah. And they're also really bright colours as well. I hate it when you buy a pack of crayons and it's like all brown. Anyway, two pounds. Couldn't resist. And that is it for my home haul. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye.